Hey guys, this is Aperture and this video is a snippet from the webinar I did today about consolidations, but I thought I could share this with you too on YouTube. If you want to know more about consolidation, visit us on thepurpness.com. You can get a free trial and make sure you watch the webinar. <laughs> So in this webinar, I'm going to talk about consolidations and a consolidation is basically price staying at the same level. I'm going to show you a definition from Investpedia. Normally, I don't like these definitions that much, but I think this one describes it quite well. A consolidation in technical analysis refers to an asset oscillating between a well-defined pattern of trading levels. Consolidation is generally interpreted as market indecisiveness, which ends when the asset's price moves above or below the trading pattern. So in general, what price needs to be to be in a consolidation is that it's basically going sideways and moving between a support level and a resistance level. So here on my screen, I have a, a, an example from the 12th of August, 2020. And as you can see, price is moving between two points. So you can see in this example that there are several resistances, maybe one or two, like this one and this one. And there is a support level where price is being bought up. So you can see that price is basically flat and some traders excel in these conditions because price isn't moving. They simply buy support and, and sell resistance. And you can do that for a while until price breaks out. But this is what we call a, a consolidation. And the consolidation ends when price breaks out. As you can see here, the resistance stops being resistance and you can get that expansion upwards afterwards. Of course, consolidation can also break to the downside and that happens when the support breaks. So the thing about consolidation is you want to spot this and you want to see that consolidation in relation to the rest of the market. So in this example, there was a bullish market structure before. So the trend before this consolidation happened was basically up because we have a low here, a high, higher lows, and then another high. And that, that last high over here led to a consolidation period. The great thing about a consolidation is that it can give you a good entry if you know what to look for. And if you have spotted that market structure, you can try to catch that move up when the consolidation breaks, or you can try to position yourself during that consolidation. But you have to know what to, to look for. And in, in this example, basically, you could have long this somewhere here. You could have played that breakout. And once it broke out and maybe retested this level, it didn't really retest it precisely. But there was a move down. And, and that's where price got bought up by by the bulls here. So you can position yourself below something like resistance and wait for um, the consolidation to end. One of the ways you can do it is, is by plotting some moving averages on your chart. For example, this is the 20 EMA, or you can pick uh, something like the, the 55 EMA, and I think the 55 EMA is, is works best on this example. So 
Um, you can pick the exponential moving average. In trading view, you set the length, 55 in this example, and let's set the color for a uh, for better view here. And what often happens in markets when they, they break from a value, they expand, but often mean reversion happens. So you can say this was some consolidation too, or consolidation with a higher low, and then we got that expansion up. But because prices ran away and price tends to mean revert, you could wait for price to get back to that support level and get back with that moving average because it was running away here. And at that moment, you can see that the moving average is providing some support. And after that, price moved up more and, and broke out. So one way to spot this is just by putting on some moving averages in the chart, see where price mean reverted and try to spot if the trend can continue upward. So here, over here, you can see that price was basically consolidating on that moving average. And then here at this moving, at this move up on the green candle, you can see there is some initial momentum. And that means that there are buyers stepping in. The local consolidation here on a much lower time frame also ended and there was a breakout and then the bigger breakout happened. So this is one way you can spot these consolidations and try to get a good entry in that consolidation. <laughs>